Let's talk about graphing polynomial functions. So how to sketch a graph of, of a polynomial function. First, find the intercepts. So that's where f of x equals 0. And also where, what is f of 0? So evaluate those two things. Check for symmetry if the function is an even function. Its graph is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. That is f of negative y and negative x equals f of x. That'd be like a parabola that's the, like the vertex is on the y-axis. Uh, if the function is an odd function, the graph is symmetric with respect to the origin that is f of negative x is the negative of f of x. Use the multiplicities of zeros to determine the behavior of the polynomial at the x-intercepts, meaning if it's an even multiplicity, it's going to basically touch it and go back the direction from whence it came. If it's an odd, it'll pass through it, and the bigger the number, it flattens out more around the intercept. Determine the end behavior by examining the leading term. So if it's positive, it gets bigger as x gets bigger. And if it's negative, it depends on if it's an even or odd degree. But we just talked about that in the last video. Use the end behavior and the behavior at the intercepts to sketch the graph. Ensure that the number of turning points does not exceed one less than the degree of the polynomial. Optionally, use technology to check the graph, so like Desmos, which is free to use. Okay, here's one that is already factored for us, thankfully. And so we see here that factor is a multiplicity too. So we look at x plus 2, set that equal to 0. That means x equals negative 2. Negative 2 is going to be an intercept. And then we have x minus 5 equals 0, so x equals 5. So that's an intercept as well. Now, we have this two out, negative 2 out front. So normally, this is a cubic. So think of this x, this x squared times an x is x cubed. So normally, it would be going up here and going down here. But because the negative 2, what's going to happen instead? Come on, eraser, please. There we go. It's going to be going up this way. And it'll be going down this way. Now, because the negative 2 was a multiplicity 2, it's going to, oh, i got to get the y-intercept 2. So f of 0 is negative 2 times 0 plus 2 squared times 0 minus 5. So that's going to be negative 2 times 4 times negative 5. So I get positive 40, which makes sense because it's, man, my graph is not going to be scaled right. Um because it's going to bounce on this negative 2. I call it bouncing. It's going to come back up from the way it came. It's going to go way up there to 40 and then come back down to here. So it crosses at 40. Okay, and that's sketching the graph of a polynomial function. The next one we're going to do is solving polynomial inequalities.